<laughs> I did. It's always a game boy, but that's why he's banned. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> Wait, which one? We got X Axel versus Dre, a matchup we saw twice in the last tournament. Both times X Axel took it, sending Dre to loses and then eliminate him later, putting Dre in fourth place. Oh. Let's see. Again, Neshi's game is Shocker Denial, and for any Shocker Denial character, Nardo is an odd matchup because you can't just put him in an infinite and win because of Kiwi mode. So you have to make preparations to defeat him once he gets to that point. He gets to chop the deck. He decides he needs to speed up early after Nardo gets slow. But looks like he's trying to get him that Shocker game. Nobody going for that item. Nardo grabs it. That's going to hurt Neshi more than probably going to hurt Nardo. Because Neji relies so much on sure he can cancel. Let's think about that Fuma and OGG. Nobody picks up a reverse shirt. Fuma, dodge. Rocking Fuma, you know, that chip damage becomes significant later on in the match. Oh, oh! Narrowly escapes the explosion there after getting pushed back. Never set up from Dre to use the air Hakakusha, which pushes pretty much the full stage. Tries to do it again, but doesn't push him in. Odd angle. This stage is also slightly so slow, so. Jackson not calling me a trap, not getting in right away. A little less than two bars, though. You don't want to be behind on Chaka for some Ah, Nish can't take that, so we'll pick it up and be ahead on now. Head on Chaka now. Ah, can't use the guard break. Ooh, Neshi gets that shot out. Ooh, and pick up that shot again, you see. This is Neshi's game here, he's pushing it. I'm forcing the KMJ, so now he's only got one bar of shot out. The QB mode is close, so it doesn't matter as much as it normally would with another character. So much more stuff. Ooh, he's got a chakra seal though. Hits it. He's got to stick him. There it is. I don't. Ah. The chakra seal's gonna weigh her off before QB mode though. That hurts. Oh! The two should actually catch him up there. He's gonna X dash after the. Oh! He was gonna X dash the combo and bounces off him anyway, but that'll do it. So X Axel takes the first one without Keely Mode. Let's see what Dre will do next game. Let's see what Dre will do. What? Yo, did you get this? No, I. I wasn't even paying attention. That's Xbox, though. It's different from PS3. Oh, it is? Yeah. See, that's what it is. I, like, I kept pressing focus before I got to the ground. And just stand there. Like, yeah. Well, I'm saying, like, I can't be talking about the game. Because we're actually commentating live it. on the map. Yo, just talk about that smart stuff. So, Dre again going up against Nardo. In case Let's see if he can push that chakra now. Dre has a black belt in Taekwondo. He knows how to beat ass. He's certified. Yeah. This is his shit. I know. That's fine. I don't even know if you can hear me on the mic, but, uh, good enough. Oh. Dre looking to make him KNJ the Shuriken so he can recover faster and react. There you go. See, he picked up that defense up. And he did, and she has defense up. Bounce him off the wall. Ooh. This is the area we're trying to wall bounce him. Rather than Ogium, he was actually going to try and bounce him off the wall to make him lose a little bit more chakra. And press the chakra advantage. Right now he has both the chakra and life advantage, so it's a really good situation for an edgy. Above all else, you want to just avoid getting knocked down or knocked away with an edgy because that'll give him a chance to charge or pick up your chakra, which is probably be more significant than just taking damage. This is a Hakekusho in the air. He's got chakra, chakra, yeah, got chakra to spend. Uh, he can forward up, push him back a little bit, try to charge. Edgy using the speed up. 
Knock it off the close now, Dre. You said I can shoot, so it would have brought him a lot closer. Ah, I guess if that Puma, you see Nardo. Nardo actually is one of the highest regen rates in the game when it comes to charging, also. So that also really hurts Shaka now. So, so even a little bit of pushback from the Puma, for example, will give Nardo a good chance to charge Shaka back. But Dre does have a life lead, and it looks like he's going to try and work that as he moves in the Q mode and just beat Nardo straight up rather than with an infinite or anything like that. And that's where Neshi's Shaka. Ooh! Oh, good thing you can see that. Oh, here. See, now Neji's chakra is just as important as Naruto because if Naruto goes in cute mode, he'll have full chakra. And Neji will have very, very low, which will give him less opportunity nice. to escape from QB pressure. And now Naruto has the life and damage. And this is what happens when you try to buy the time in the QB. Naruto's not a bad hitter, but he can actually work his way back without QB. And now Dre is adding all together as well as a man. He falls off the cliff. Throws the clone after him, and X Axel will once again, for the third time in a row, defeat Drake.